Oh, hey, Internet. I'm hungover. <laughs> I'm hungover. <laughs> I'm eating some waffles and yogurt. It's good. I know I said I wouldn't eat in front of you guys, but I lied. My hair is goofy. So goofy. It's another sunny day living in paradise. Everyone else but you. I hate that guy's hair. The long, long hair? really goofy and it's big on one side. Yeah, that's like... Good. Sunday, I'm eating fucking at night chicken and carrots. Go to bed hungry. Official, Josh and I have decided to go back to our healthy ways because we decided that. Night, as soon as we left here, we went to McDonald's. Yeah, that's not that healthy. Yeah, This multiform has grown weak. I require sustenance. Fish, to be exact. What, actually, to be more exact, cod. We just got back from the gymnasium where we pushed weights. I still require a shower. <laughs> Josh makes this delicious uh, teriyaki sauce from scratch. It's so good. I wish I could put it through the camera and let you guys taste it, but that's not possible. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna and show you what. Like 40 years ago, like, we thought that was good, we got it perfect now. Like, it's in a ketchup bottle right now, that's what it looks like. It's really good. Right now we're just cooking up some chicken, chicken, poulet, for you French people. <laughs> but, uh, teriyaki chicken with brown rice. Brown rice is the way to go. Got a little burnt on my chest. Ooh, and on my shoulders. Yeah. Because it's such a nice day. Such a nice day. It's like rain on your wedding day. A free ride that you just sit and take. That you just sit and take. That you just sit and take. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just outside enjoying the nice weather. Just wanted to talk about a couple of things. Uh, I didn't get a chance to talk about uh, yesterday. I didn't get a chance to talk about uh, people judging other people based on music preference. Okay, so immediately I'm just gonna say that's ridiculous. If you don't agree, then I'm then you're kind of ridiculous. It doesn't matter what music you listen to. It really doesn't. Uh, of course, I have preferences. I I prefer to listen to usually indie rock or folk, dubstep, I really like dubstep, metal, uh, but you know, I don't really like country, I don't really like rap and stuff, but I, I don't ha hate or judge people upon that liking of that music. Music's music, you know, if it makes you feel good right here in your heart, then then go ahead and have at her and listen to the song. Uh, another thing I like to bring up is that a lot of people say dubstep isn't real music and electronic music isn't real music, but how how you, can you say that? You're ignorant if you're saying that, and you don't understand how dubstep's being made if you say that. Yeah, they're not playing instruments, but they have to uh, use software and pretty complex programs to create this music. To me, it sounds beautiful. I'm a drummer, and I, I love how everything's down to a T. It's in perf it's in great timing. There's this incredible sounds that are being made. Uh, you know, it's just it's a whole new dimension of 
You know, not, music like this has never been made before. A great example, like I love Skrillex. And I love Skrillex because he he has, I'd say he kind of has a distinct sound. You can you can you can tell it's Skrillex, but at the same time, he always makes and produces something different. It's really hard to pinpoint exactly where he's going, and the thing is, he's not really going anywhere. What I get from him is he's just making music that he loves. That's beautiful. He's just making stuff. And he's making music that he loves, and he's just doing it because he loves doing it. He's not doing it to you know to make anyone happy per se. He's just doing it for himself. He's doing it because he loves making music, and he's never going to stop doing it that way. Just because someone says you got to make music a certain way, I believe he said in an interview, once you get to a certain point of fame, you can't, people expect you to go a certain way. He said he's just going to keep on going his way, and I think that's amazing. Uh, another thing is uh, I wanted to talk about, and I've thought about a lot, is the friend zone. It usually applies to men, and uh, the friend zone's a bit. It's like usually guys say, you know, don't. The friend zone's a terrible place, but I agree only on the condition that if you're being way way too nice if you're being like a super super crazy nice guy and you're just being always there for that girl you're always talking to her you, you never you get you know anytime she calls you you're there you never kind of have you time well then you're just gonna be kind of a pushover you're gonna be like too much of a nice guy and you know you're not you know, you're not really fun girls kind of like a chase that friend zone is a bad place to be but you're a guy that you make it very clear you have your priorities, you have your interests, you have your hobbies, you need to do what you need to do, but you also are willing to give her emotional support and be that type of friend, and that's okay, but um, the only reason I th say it's okay is because when I decide I want to be with someone for the rest of my life, I want that person to be my best friend. Not only my lover and someone I'm incredibly attracted to, but I want that girl to be someone I can hang out with every day and enjoy her company, enjoy her laugh, enjoy her you know, her sarcasm, enjoy whatever it is, her faults and her perfections. I want to enjoy every little bit of it, and I want her to be my best friend. I want amazing sex, I want lust, I want, you know, laughter, I want times where we can just hang out and do whatever and laugh at each other. you got to have friendship if you have a good relationship. Say you, you like a girl, or say you like a guy, for example, you're not sure if they like you back. What I would suggest is going to them and, you know, telling them that. Of course, this is way easier said than done, but communication is key no matter what type of relationship it is whether it's your you know friends whether it's a uh, girlfriend boyfriend whether it's you know father son or whatever the relationship is communication has to be there or else that relationship can't grow it can't develop so you, know, you can go up to the person whether you like a girl or like a guy whoever it is uh, and you go up to that person you you know and just have a talk with them if they're a really good friend of yours you should be able to have, sit down with them and say hey I, you know I want to talk to you about something this can either go two ways either they like you back or they don't like you back say the negative side they don't like you back if they're a really good friend they should just you know be able to understand yeah you know thanks for telling me that I appreciate you telling me that but you know I don't like you let's just continue being where we are let's continue being friends usually what will happen for the person male or female they're just distraught they're so upset oh my god Tim or Felicia or whatever, oh my god, they don't like me and I'm just, I'm so upset. You need to take a deep breath and get over yourself. I know that sounds harsh, it sounds mean, but you can't always expect someone to like you back when you like someone. That's life. Sometimes friendships are just friendships and they don't go any further than that. In the opposite corner, you know, the other thing happens and they do like you. Well, then talk about, hey, would you like to see where things go or would you, could I take you on a date and actually, you know, we could try being more than friends, but, you know, just... People get so awkward about these things, but really it's just, it's just talking about it. It's definitely hard to do. It is. I'll, I'll give you, the, I'll give everyone that, like, even me, like, I get awkward in tons of situations, but when you build up the courage to just say to that person, hey, I want to talk to you about something, it's bothering me, you know, you don't want something building up inside you, that's the worst. You don't want to sit there for a couple of years, like, oh my god, I really care about this person, I love them, you know, you're growing this fiery passion for them inside and you don't tell them. One thing I always tell people is regret feels a lot worse than embarrassment. Hope you guys get something from that. Um, I'm just enjoying the summer. I'm enjoying the weather. It's beautiful here right now. Hope you guys are having a good summer or a start of summer. Ask me questions. Talk to me. Let me know how you're doing. I love talking to my followers. love talking to my subscribers. Everything like that. Love you guys. Peace.